and steps. Excellent adventure. How are you guys doing today? Hi. <laughs> well, we have expanded to another state, uh, Stephanie, in our travels. Yeah, we are in Maine. Which they call, was it vacation land? I think it's called vacation land, I'm but I'm not, not sure. sure. <laughs> Neither am I, and I grew up here. So anyway, um, Fort McClary is a pretty famous landmark here, and it's right on uh, basically the mouth of a river which leads out to the ocean. What's the name of the river? The Piscataqua. I can't say it. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt that one. Now, if I didn't grow up knowing that word, it wouldn't be coming out of my mouth yeah, right now because no. I would have been saying Piscataqua. Sure. Something like that. Uh, so anyway, this particular location is a very strategic point to defend the coastline because there's not a lot of up with the flies there's a lot of um rivers or not a lot of rivers that come in land from the ocean in this area so they would strategically find a point which needed to be defended in case somebody wanted to invade or something so uh, a lot of people think this was basically a, a civil war fort uh, to fight off the british trying to uh, come into the the coastline here but in fact uh it, it dates back not this, this structure that is here now, but uh, the 1600s, late 1600s, they first established uh, a sort of lookout here. And the lookout was um, basically to defend against uh, Native Americans and um, other people that would want to kind of encroach on your, your, your area or whatever. Um, and then over the years, uh, in the 1700s, they kind of added onto it, made it a little bit better um, so that it was a little bit better fortified. Um, and then, of course, along comes the um, American Revolution, and um, they're trying to defend this from the British. So they built it up more, um, they added cannon, and uh, continued to um, kind of use this as a, as a strategic point. Now, we got into the Civil War, and they decided, now this is a place that really needs to be defended. Am I talking too much? No. Okay, because it's all know. up here, folks. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> Now this, I'm letting you do it, honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the Civil War comes along, and now they really want to uh, fortify this because now we're in a Civil War. So they started building it up with a lot of granite, and they were building it and building it and building it, and it never saw our action. They, they put in cannon. Wow. And the, but do you know why they no. stopped building it? No. And it, it isn't because the Civil War ended. They stopped building up this fort because it was built of granite, and granite wasn't didn't stand up real good under cannon fire so if if cannon slammed into granite it it, it just like <laughs> i mean it just it just shattered um so it, we'll see when we get down there the walls are really thick but uh, you really don't want to be on the other side when like a 16 pound cannonball hits the other side you know what i'm saying eight pound cannonball is going to hurt but the 16 pounder is just gonna you know you're never going to hear again for the rest of your life it's kind of like me <laughs> but uh this should be really interesting and uh it's a place we kind of planned on visiting and uh unfortunately it doesn't open for a few minutes so we're standing here waiting for the place to open yay yeah <laughs> so uh this should be kind of fun to check out and uh let's do this let's stephanie let's go oh thanks honey oh yeah large parking lot here at Fort McClary and they don't open until 10 a.m. daily so um, if you come up here at 10 a.m. the gate or before 10 a.m. the gates may be closed and locked but they do open them at 10 and there's a parking lot up above there are fees to get into the fort and here they are
excess granite. When they were building the fort, there was left over from the wall. They had all these granite blocks and they just kind of left them. They're all around the property here. Look at the cannons. Well, I understand that the fort was put here for strategic purposes. That's correct. But the beauty of this area. It wow. is a beautiful spot. Wow. I mean, just it's the- Post Guardish. Yeah, and you can see a couple lighthouses from here with all the boats in the background. There's an island. I mean, it's just picturesque. That's what Maine's all about. Yeah, it's really pretty. Yeah, yeah. I found something really cool I gotta show you. Okay. So this, granite wall followed by a lot of uh, ground soil grass whatever um, that was fortification so that the soldiers you fire the cannons from up here okay the soldiers could be on the other side of that and if anybody encroached over this main wall they could pick them off right there but that would give them protection from cannonballs and small small arms fire as well. So they can just pop up, shoot you, pop back down. Huh. And we'll see it on the other side and, and you'll get a better idea how thick that is. It's, I think it's 16 feet thick. Wow. Pretty cool. Stephanie, follow me. I'm gonna show you something very cool. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, watch your step here. Thank you. It is a little rough oh, along the walkway. Uh-oh, of course there's a big step down. So far, so good. Okay. Check this out. Oh, this is going a little creepy. <laughs> This is where you could, you had a pretty good angle yeah, shooting anybody that. coming over the wall that way. And the same thing from the other side, you could, you could lean right in there with your rifle. In those days, you're a musket. But this is all for, they'd have one or two guys here, here, and here, and they'd all be back to back and de defending this position. So there'd be a guy here, you'd have this whole angle, then there'd be a guy here, you'd have this whole angle and so forth. But look at the construction. Crazy, right? My husband is in heaven today. He's a big war buff. So yeah. this is a lot of fun. It's very cool. <laughs> He's very smiling cool. so big. Whoa. Look at <laughs> It's a lot of water. I think Jeff would say a lot of water. Water. You can see how thick this granite wall was made here. This brim, if you will, to protect the soldiers. So this is granite with earthen material over the top. It's pretty thick.
building? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's powder house. Powder house where they kept gunpowder? Yeah. yeah gunpowder, but you can see how thick it is. Yeah. see the original what's left of the hinges there's three of them one two three heavy steel hinging that yeah. there was a, a really heavy door over this at one time but the hinges are long since gone they just left that little nub left over so after they built this and I, I believe it's like three feet thick they put a coating of concrete all the way over it because they need to keep this as watertight as they could. And here's some, here's some old hinges on this one too, where the oh, yeah. big steel door would come and shut. And you can see the latches, what's left for the latches here and here. But if that powder blew up, get them over. <laughs> slide it forward, and then yeah, angle whatever way they wanted to go. That's not loud, that was one of my mom. Right. Oh my god, no hearing protection, right? fireplace and source of heat.
was the officer's quarters. So above the staircase, there is a trap door up here and they probably had a ladder where you could get up and access the roof. This is another powder magazine, and they would keep this stocked. Not like the big one outside, but this would not have been here before, it just been a door. And you can see the big steel hinges that would have covered this. And that way, when they were under attack, they would bring up the drawbridges, that one in front, and then they close those doors that were up above there too. And they would close it all off. And then all these uh, things would open up. They'd have like a, a like a, um, a screen on it or a shutter some kind of a cover and it would lift up when they were ready to uh, engage and they would keep all their powder and shot and uh, cannonball and everything right in here and they come and get it as they need it and if you stick the camera in there you'll see there's room for a lot of gunpowder and it would be in barrels um, the gunpowder would be in barrels So you can see, keep a lot of powder in there. I don't think I'd want to be sleeping above it all at night. <laughs> right, the whole thing's a, as the saying goes, it's a powder keg. It is a It's a real powder keg in here, kid. <laughs> you can see the outlines of the barracks here in the grass. Looks like they were made out of rock and granite, probably also. But they were right next to the blockhouse. And you can see the footing here in rock and brick also. And this was another rifleman's house. It's right here on the peak. the cannon would stick out now this is even facing the water so I don't know if this is when people are maybe trying to you know flank them or something like that and they they had cannon on the backside too but you can see the turntable so the cannon could pivot around to the different openings there it's pretty cool it is cool yeah some of these big blocks of granite. It's pretty neat. And the breeze is nice. It's a beautiful it day. It is. It is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> so what did you think about uh, Fort McClary, Stephanie? I loved it. It's this has something else. Uh, yeah, it's neat. I love reading about um, these places and the historical plaques and things they have inside give you a lot of information and you just picture yourself back then and wow. It's one of the things about New England I like the best since I, I lived here for so long and I don't live here anymore uh, is the history is preserved so well from the original landing of the uh, the Pilgrims and the Mayflower in yeah. 1492. Wait a minute, that's when Columbus sailed the ocean <laughs> the below. I don't know, it was, it was a long time ago <laughs> anyway. But uh, anyway, uh, a lot of it's been preserved and places like this fort that's just the manpower to build something like this right. without, you know, cranes and, you know, backhoes, it's just... I mean, this, this hill that the, the fort, the top part of the fort is on, that's just all granite and just, it, it's almost like, you wonder how the Egyptians did the, the pyramids, <laughs> and it's, it's kind of on the same scale. We always scale. talk Some about that. Some of these blocks that. are We're so like, huge. It's just, right. it's just amazing. And uh, how about this harbor behind us? Here? Oh, it's beautiful. The boats, too. And... Now, is it a harbor or is it a haba? Haba. It's a haba. Yeah, it's nice to see i mean this seriously is like this is what i picture in my mind main being right the boats out sailboats and lighthouses yeah. and rocky shore yes yeah. totally yeah the only thing we don't have is a shark attack but um no, it's still time <laughs> well thanks for joining us today guys we hope you learned something enjoyed the little tour of the fort and fort mcclary fort mcclary and don't forget to like and subscribe Jeff and Steps. Excellent. Maine. Forts. Oh, and fort. Yeah, Jeff loves a good fort. Adventure. Adventure. Take care, guys. Safe travels, and thanks for subscribing. We love you guys. Yeah. We'll More see adventures you soon. Ahead. Right. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Bye. So Maine-ish to see all those uh, sailboats and bug. Yeah, bug. Swallowed a bug. Yeah.